off the charts. Your coach said this week you were more confident. You were in your rhythm. What was the difference? I think it's just you just got to keep going at it. I mean, we all believe in each other. I'm blessed to have amazing teammates, amazing coaches, everyone here that's a part of the Philadelphia Eagles the organization is first class and we go to work every single day to improve. And, uh, you know, everyone was against us and just to come out here, stick together and uh, come away with an amazing victory against a great team. I mean, Minnesota Vikings have had an amazing year and they're great competitors. Right, well, happy birthday to us the other day. Good luck against the Patriots. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I am Rachel Bonetta, and welcome to the Visa Sunday Live Show. You just heard from Philadelphia quarterback Nick Foles, who represent the NFC in Super Bowl 52. And on the other side of the field, of course, will be the New England Patriots, who knocked off Jacksonville to win the AFC Championship game. But how did they do it? Let's get right to it with the Visa Speed Rail. Things move fast with Visa, so pay attention. Are you ready? Let's do it. Starting things off in the AFC title game in Foxborough, Blake Bortles and Jacksonville were the first half story. Bortles was awesome in the opening frame, 13 of 15 for 155 yards and a touchdown as squad led 14 to three. Until just before the break, after a drive with several big penalties, running back James White snuck in from a yard out. New England trailed 14 to 10 at the half. New England was without Rob Gronkowski in the second half, out with a concussion after one of those penalties, an unnecessary roughness call on Barry Church, leaving Brady without his top receiving threat. But guess what, guys? Tom led New England all the way back. His fourth quarter touchdown pass, Danny Amendola, his second of the quarter, giving the Patriots a 24-20 lead. And they did it. 24 to 20, the final. Tom Brady will go for his sixth career Super Bowl ring. He's running out of fingers. But what about the NFC? Who were Robert Kraft's boys going to play? Well, it looked like Minnesota for a while until Patrick Robinson's 50-yard interception returned for a touchdown. That sparked a 24-point outburst as the Eagles led 24 to 7 at halftime, and they never looked back. Nick Foles, Alshon Jeffrey, and the Philadelphia offense was spectacular. Minnesota was totally overmatched, and the Eagles were moving on to face New England 38-7 the final. Now this was the scene at the site of Super Bowl 52 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The Viking fans were fired up early on, but by the end of the NFC Championship game, the Purple Faithful were a little uh, angry. There's, there's some sadness in those faces in just 14 days. They will still be watching Super Bowl 52. It'll be at their home stadium. They just won't be watching the Vikings. Meanwhile, this was the scene on the streets of Philadelphia. The Bird Gang is back in the Super Bowl for the first time in 13 years. And something tells me the Philly faithful won't be shy about it for the next two weeks. This looks insane. And admit it, okay, you guys know you want to be there. Even if the temperature outside is only forecasted to be in the single digits, okay, the game is indoors, so you don't have to worry about that even when it's frigid out there. Minneapolis is a really cool city, and I recently found out all about it. I brought my warmest coat, my Visa card, of course, my phone, and not much else. And if you're going to Super Bowl 52, you'll want to take a look at this. You want to check out the biggest sporting event of the year? Well, we are taking you to Minneapolis, the bold north and home of Super Bowl 52. Because of the Super Bowl, more than 100,000 people are expected to travel to the city of Minneapolis, even without tickets to the game. And hosting that many football fans takes an insane amount of planning. Good thing we found the right woman for the job. Maureen, you are from Minnesota, so the Super Bowl is in your backyard. What does that mean to you? It is absolutely wonderful to showcase Minnesota to the world, to show people how we live here in the winter, that we don't hibernate, <laughs> that we have a heck of a lot of fun. No trip to the Twin Cities would be complete without a stop at the Mall of America. This place has over 520 shops, 50 restaurants. It has its own theme park. Plenty of Super Bowl 52 swag. Ooh, so soft. This may be a little small, but I'm gonna get it anyways. Minneapolis is also the birthplace of a culinary masterpiece. The 5A Club created a little something called the Juicy Lucy Burger. You want cheese on top? Well, not here. The gooey good stuff is added right in the middle of the patty. I consider the Juicy Lucy our contribution to American cuisine. You know, like the Philly cheesesteak is right. for Philly. The Juicy Lucy is for Minnesota. All right, so we're gonna cut it. Oh my goodness gracious. Cheers. Cheers. To Juicy Lucy. To Juicy Lucy.
what's your next stop in town? I'm thinking I need some dessert. And I've been hearing an awful lot about a five pound cookie. So what goes into making a cookie that feeds 20 people? Four eggs and about a pound each of butter, sugar, and flour. Now it's time for the best part. Yes. We're gonna add caramel and chocolate. You know, you're so dainty about it. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> there we go. Mix it together for 10 minutes and drop it on the scale. Is it five pounds? We are good. Now we gotta shape this thing and there's really only one thing that I can think of. All right, how long is this gonna take to bake? About 45 minutes. Ah, no pressure, right? That's a tasty five pound cookie. We've got one stop left. Good thing I saved the best for last. Two weeks from tonight, the NFL will be crowning its champion inside of this beautiful 70,000 seat stadium behind me. Now after more than four years of planning, I am sure Minneapolis is more than ready to host its second Super Bowl. Sadly, it's time for me to go home. I am heading back to the warmth. Minneapolis is a lot of fun and there are a lot of food options. Juicy Lucy's are the truth, okay? It's, that's just what it is. But for the guys playing in the game, Super Bowl 52 is a business trip. Let's hear from some of the players and coaches going to Minnesota in a segment we are calling Sound Up and let's start in the city of brotherly love. I can't get over the job that Foles did. I just can't get over that. That's unbelievable. The job he performed today in a game like this. I'm so happy for Nick. I'm so happy for the offense and the, the entire team. You know, but for Nick, for everything that he's you know been through and battled, he stayed the course. He stayed true, and we all believed in him. And and he had a performance tonight. We still got one more to go. One more. Good luck in Minneapolis, Coach. I'll see Thank you there. You. I mean, that's what we work all year. We said it. We never said it was going to be easy. We just said somehow we got to find a way to get it done. You got a bunch of guys that work so hard that I never give up. And with a leader and Coach Belichick and Tom, I mean, it's just a blessing. You talk about a guy that's so relentless. I mean, you. you I'm, you're going to have to cut his hand off for a guy like that not to play. And with a leader like that leading us down the field up and no matter what's going on, I mean, that's all you can ask for. That's it. Everybody's got a job to do. we got to put the work in each week, prepare, and, uh, and we'll be ready. So uh, we're excited for the opportunity, and uh, we're going to get out there and, and give it our best shot. On the Minnesota. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, guys, so who is your pick to win Super Bowl 52? Is it New England or is it Philadelphia? All you got to do is vote for Brady's crew by typing in New England in the comments, or you can vote for Nick Foles and the birds by typing Philadelphia. We've got, oh, shocker, 75% say New England crew. Uh, can I get a woo-woo if you think the Patriots are going to win? Woo-woo. And what about Philadelphia? Meh. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, <laughs> it's not over yet. Keep your votes coming in by typing New England or Philadelphia in the comments if you are watching on Facebook. Moving on, as you can imagine, when we get to this stage in the postseason, the pressure can be intense on and off the field. Recently, my Fox Sports colleague Joy Taylor found out who has the edge, those paying with Visa or those paying with cash. Joy? Let's see which guy can make the fastest purchase in the middle of a press conference without losing their cool. What, what, you what, what do you have to say after the big game? I'm just happy to be a part of the team. I couldn't have done it without my team. <laughs> and what was the key to your victory? I'll leave it out there on the field. Uh, we prepared and we brought our A game. Coach, Coach really did, did a really did a great, great job. job. Who wants a hot dog? I'll, I'll take, take one. one. You got this. What is this? <laughs> now that's how you pay. Thank you, Joy. Let's check in one last time to see who you guys think are going to win Super Bowl 52. <laughs> it went up a, just a smidge. 68% uh, are voting New England, 32% Philadelphia. Hey, crew, you guys got it right. Yay for you. No more yeah. woo-woos? They're very enthusiastic. It's Sunday. Uh, Philly fans, <laughs> they might not want, uh, they might not love that poll result, but that's not going to stop them from celebrating tonight's NFC Championship win, as you can see here. I have a feeling these guys are probably going to be in that mosh pit all night long. Uh, that is going to do it for the Visa Sunday Live Show. We want to give a special thank you to our sponsor, Visa, for showing us that the payment process doesn't have to slow us down. Paying with Visa makes things quicker, easier, and you can travel lighter. And that will come in handy for those of you heading to Minneapolis. I'm so jealous of you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Before you enjoy Super Bowl 52, here are a few of the lighter moments from our show. I apologize in advance. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.
Charlotte, Pittsburgh, the city of Boston. I'm thinking Minneapolis. These people love their football. But I've got... Sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately today, I've got to work for my meal. Oh, I already ripped my gloves. <laughs> wow, that was way heavier than I thought it was going to be. Oh. And I'm thinking Minneapolis, Minneapolis. I'm pretty sure that Minneapolis. I'm thinking Minneapolis. Sorry. Two weeks. Shh. <laughs> 